Hey Brian, um, thank you for um, getting in touch, mate. You've uh, you've seen a few stories recently. You got in touch and you said you were there in prison with Paul Sykes, in prison with Lee Duffy. Uh, first, Brian, where are you from? Uh, Glasgow, outskirts of Glasgow. Right. So, how did you become? How did you get down to like Durham Prison and Armley Prison? First of all, Paul Sykes, um, you've seen all the things that have been said about him recently. You did time with him. What's your well, he what, was what was it like actually being in there? He was in the digger, the, the block they call it in England. So, but he was just that, see, like uh, the talk of the place can hang. So, but what I was talking about before was. I was I was a young offender at the time, mm. what they call a a, young, a YP in England, and uh, that that's what age I was at the time. And there was no there was no but I'd heard before on that the the big guy uh, saying that this Paul Sykes was uh, rating YPs and gone with your uh, the. There was no way he would have been able to do that. There was mm -hmm. no, it wouldn't have been possible. See, like, because he was like the anti-establishment, right? Like, the screws wouldn't have let him. The cons wouldn't have let him. Mm. And I'm certain the YOs wouldn't have let him. Doesn't matter who who you were. Do you know what I mean? So that. So, that, that, I mean, what what prison were you in with Sykes? Yeah, uh, Durham. What year was that then? That was like ninety ninety one. Right. Um and obviously was there was a lot of stories going around Sykes like, rape yeah, all that kind of thing. No, no, I never heard it. Oh all I heard was he was like the hard man for Yorkshire. Do you know he had that hang about him like uh, Anti-establishment, knocking screws out. There was no, there wasn't any talk of that. I know it's came about new, but there were. I was a what? I was a a young prisoner at the time. I, I never heard it. So obviously you kind of lived it and that. And I know people have having opinions lately, and they say a lot of things for clickbait and a lot of things to to get the views, but. In your experience of being in the prison, with was there any of that? Wait, Durham Jew? No. None whatsoever? No, I see no. Right. It's frowned upon in the, the British Jews. It's no, it's no a done, it's no a done thing that people get away with. Yeah. Or, do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so you've seen basically people saying, oh, rapes left, right and centre, and that, that doesn't happen, does it? No, it would, it would be frowned upon, it would be ended, like, quickly, if somebody's, mm. and it does it, it does get ended quickly, if somebody's up to that. Yeah. Um, so you were in Armley as well, weren't you, with, with Duffy? I was in Ar they moved me to Armley. I was in trouble in Yorkshire. Uh, something happened in uh, Bridlington. There was a stabbing in Bridlington, so they took me to put me in English system. And uh, so because of Bridlington, the geography that like, they moved me to Armley for Durham. Mm. But, and uh, it was like an old. Years ago, they used to move. There, there was a thing called the National Express, the the National Draft. Mm. It started in Scotland in the morning, in London, one bus in London, and they dropped people off at all the different. So they dropped me off at Durham, and I lay in Durham for like five months, and uh, then they moved me to Armley. Mm. And, uh, and obviously, was that why you come across Duffy and Armley? Aye, aye. Any but stories he, or? Well, he was just the talk of the. He was the talk of the place, like Lee Duffy. Like he, he would have been young at the time. He mm. was like, 
Uh, he was just a kid in the, the jail kind of thing, like, so uh, that's all that he was not that cause I was doing for Scotland, he was not my I spoke to him a couple of times on the exercise, but he was the type of guy that I think if you spoke to him you would end up fighting with him and mm-hmm. if you know what I mean that's what I thought anyway, I thought there could be possible trouble. He was just one of the guys that I just thought that. So, mm. like, and, and obviously, you, I mean, you got in touch and you've seen all the kind of things. So, for someone, Brian, who kind of lived at that time and there was alleged rapes and all that kind of thing with Sykes, how long did you do time with him for? Uh, well, I was in Durham for like four or five months. Mm. And it was like, see the 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 wires and that, they were like three. It was dead overcrowded at that time, right? Well, a, any of them will tell you that any of the uh, young YPs that were in at the time. And so there was like three in a, a cell. There's 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 no way that there's no way an officer would take somebody for the block who they hate mm-hmm. and he hates them. Why would you take him for the block to a young to young prisoners to to do that? Uh, and I'm sure they and see all the guys for the North East like New Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Newcastle. They they're not going to let him away with doing that any. No matter who I mean, he is. it's right in saying what you're saying is obviously I've spoken with a lot of people, and he he was always right out the way. I think you described it as the digger. So I'm right in saying that when you were in Durham, Durham for four or five months, Sykes was well out the way and was never never around any YPs, let alone have the time to rape him every single day. But there's, there's no way that it would have been allowed or, or he could have managed. You see, like, there's no way he could have got up for there without officers being involved right? and it being... Uh, and uh, when it did happen, it would be the talk of the place. People would know about it, and and that that's what I'm saying. There's plenty of guys in the northeast, or that wouldn't allow it anyway. Mm-hmm. Do you know? he, but he, I know he was Paul Sykes, and but it wouldn't have been allowed. I know there's plenty of guys. Do you know what I mean? It would have had a lot to say about it. Yeah, but no, I, I just wanted to listen to your side, Brian, because obviously never stayed then with the YPs or it was Yeah, you 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 kinda lived it for like months and months and, and spent the time in an establishment and um so you never seen it once? No. No, neither did I. But um I think people say this because it gets views and and it's outrage right, so and it's scandal and um a lot of people kinda believe it but you know, it's like you said yourself there, Brian. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you, mate. Thank you so much for uh, for your input, mate. No problem. You take care. God bless. And you. Bye.